Welcome to the vlog. 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 Welcome to the fucking vlog, season two. Welcome to the vlog. Monday we woke up, we went to the gym, and then me and George went to 49th Parallel for some coffee and food. I am back to be with my capstone. I have a meeting in about 15 minutes to just like update and do like the weekly stand up and stuff like that. I am so excited. I feel like I haven't really been able to sink in that I got this job offer at BCH. Like I've just been really stressed about it for some reason, but it's finally like settling in. I think I'm gonna accept it and it feels really exciting. The work is kind of exactly what I was hoping to do. It just, it's overall feeling really exciting. I can't believe this is happening. This is very cool. I had a couple meetings in the morning and then I got to go to my grandparents to do some work. I spent a couple hours doing work, watched some videos, and then I got to have lunch with my grandparents. I did more work before going on a ride with my dad. We came home, had pizza, and then I talked on the phone with Turner and also rested my injured leg. Okay, I ended up getting on the phone with Turner for like almost three hours. We were just talking and having fun. So I was gonna talk about this a bit before, but basically while we were on our ride, I accidentally fell off my bike and crashed a bit because I bumped into my dad when we were doing a turn. And I think, I thought it was more fine when I fell, but once I got home, I noticed that, like I showed before, I have like a cut and it feels really sore to put weight on that knee. Anyway, I'm staying up until midnight tonight trying to find a slot at ICBC to do my end tests in like two to three weeks. I think that would be very exciting and nice to have. <laughs> so I was unsuccessful in finding anything earlier than the one I've already had. I have one booked for like September or something and I was unable to find anything earlier. So that fucking sucks, but I'll keep trying. By working out with George, I went for Brecca with him afterwards, and then I got home and just did a lot of work. Like I basically just sat at my desk all day and it was honestly kind of stressful. It's about three o'clock and I've just been doing work all day and I think I've made good progress. I am just feeling a little bit anxious about just how much work I have to do, but I think we're doing okay. I'm probably gonna have to buckle down and do work on the weekend and such, but that's life. I'm really enjoying the content of this project. Like, it's so interesting to me and it's exciting. In many ways, I wish we didn't only have two months because then it wouldn't feel like so rushed right now. But at the same time, there's other aspects of the project that I'm like, I'm done with. I don't wanna be in school anymore. I don't want to be like, I need a break. I feel burnt out. It's been an amazing opportunity. So I'm very grateful for it. I'm just very tired, I would say. I'm trying to get another hour of work in before I go for a bike ride with Courtney. I did a little bit more work before riding out and meeting Courtney at her house and I got to see her new bike for the first time and we rode out to East Van past Second Narrows and then we finally got to the little brewery area in North Van so we went to House of Funk and we also went to Braggett and that was, I had never been there before and it was like an entirely new type of like I don't know, alcohol, and it was really good. And then we rode back in the sun. It was very nice. I got home and just got to relax. Next day, I was back at the gym and I made a presentation, did a lot of work for Capstone. And of course it's Wednesday, so it was time for me to practice my driving since I failed my end test. Got to hang out with Turner once I got back and he came over to my grandparents for dinner. They made sure it was all nut free for him. We had a lovely meal together and then we got back to the house and we just kind of watched TV together. It was really nice and relaxing. Thursday was another workout with George, came home and did work, had breakfast, had some meetings, and then it was time for me and Turner to leave the house. We drove over to his house, we got to do a car wash together. I haven't been in, in a car wash since 2018, so that was kind of fun. And then we went to the mall to buy him some clothing for the wedding we're going to next week. In the evening, we met up with Nicole and Arthur to do a little bit of a brewery hop with them. It was really fun. We started at my favorite, the bakery. This one always has the best sours ever. Right now they have a pink lemonade flavor that's so tasty. We went to Yellow Dog after and I had a one little sleeve there. 
And our final stop was at Livelihood. We wanted to get a little walk in. I got some fried pickles there. It was a good way to end the night. Friday morning, while Turner slept a little bit extra, I did some work and finished all my testing for my project. Then I had a meeting with VCH to discuss my offer. And then we were off to celebrate that I was able to negotiate some of it. And it was raining really hard though. So that's definitely disgusting and not fun. I had to walk in the rain back to Turner's car. And then I got on the SkyTrain, came home, listened to new Post Malone album, had some meetings, and basically just submitted all of my stuff. I relaxed in bed for a bit. My dad made pasta. That was really tasty. It was like a little bit of a sp vegan spaghetti and meatball situation. I honestly just spent the whole night relaxing, watched Netflix. I was watching like video essays on YouTube and Black Mirror. Good morning. It is a disgusting June day. Don't mean to be negative, I'm sorry. It's just like I've had enough with this weather, honestly. Um, right now I'm heading off to the gym and then I'm thinking of going to the farmer's market. So very fun morning. I feel, I feel like very unnerved for a multitude of reasons. I think the biggest one right now is that I feel like my character development has plateaued. And I know that sounds very weird, but I think it's just cause I've been in my program for, I know it's like a, only a 10 month program, but it's been so intense that I really, really like, I'm burning out and I only have three weeks left. And I know that's nothing, but there's just a lot going on in my little pea brain right now. I had a really good workout and it was super fun to walk to the farmer's market and just walk through there. I got some kale and some hummus. It was just really nice energy there. I went to my grandparents for lunch. We had a nice meal together and we got to FaceTime Molly and talk to her. Then my mom and I rode with my dad to a gallery where one of his paintings are there to see it and that was really fun. I came home, got ready, and me and George bust out to the Longsdale Key. We were meeting up with Angela, Bede, Merlina, and Vincent and we were doing a little bit of a brewery crawl again and that was really fun. I got a lot more sours. I basically just tried so many fruity beers. My only complaint about the night is how much it was raining outside. We are really in January. <laughs> At Bracket, they had the most beautiful cutting board with the bees, and we got to play some games there. It was really fun, and we ended the night at Tap and Barrel. Well, not ended the night. We went to Angela's afterwards, and this is her cat, Simba. He was featured a couple weeks ago. He's so cute, and we basically just went to her projection room, and we wanted to watch a horror movie, and we kind of debated on which one. We started on Hereditary, but we ended up settling on Gerald's game, and that was fun. Me and George slept over, and the next day we helped Angela pick an outfit for brunch, and it was co of course raining, and she drove us to Nemesis to get a quick breakfast together. Good. We had a fun morning together and then I got home and changed and went out to meet up with Emilio because he's finally back in Vancouver. Both of us are so happy about that. We walked to the kids farmers market. We got some salmon there and then we got bubble tea together, went on a walk, we walked to kids beach and I saw a corgi which I was so happy about. It was like the cutest little thing. Emilio got some bagels from Seagulls and he was very happy and I got home, made some guac and salsa and edited. Hello, bonjour. I am off to go to Phoebe's house so that I can pick up the keys because I am taking care of Bucket next week. For those who don't remember, in a previous installment of a vlog, we met Bucket, who is a hedgehog. I literally was supposed to be like, where's my fucking phone? But Alright, so I'm off. I'll talk to you later. I got extremely soaked getting there, but it was nice to get the keys and see Bucket and Phoebe and then got home, made myself dinner, and then I FaceTime with Turner and edited the vlog. Hello. So we're ending the week. We're done. Um, this week was pretty good. A little stressful just with like the amount of work that I'm doing, but I think next week's gonna be pretty similar. I just have to make it through next week and then I think things kind of start to get a bit easier just because we're expected to kind of have like the first draft of the final product end of next week next three weeks are going to be stressful no matter what but i know i'm going to be able to handle it i'm not worried everything's going to be fine i just have to keep my head up so yeah i'm tired i'm gonna just log off so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week